We talked about those cloudy skies out there a few moments ago. A lot of people at Port Arthur Stadium watching the weather closely right now as the Border Cats hoping to swing into action after the All-Star break. Yeah, and they really need to win 4-14 uh, and 14 <laughs> on the second half. Uh, they've lost eight of their last ten, but who knows? Hopefully they can uh, get that game in tonight. They probably won't be making it. Uh, this team probably won't be inducted into the Northwestern Ontario Sports Hall of Fame. Meanwhile, the 32nd class of inductees into that Hall of Fame, which was announced today, they boast some pretty impressive resumes. It was formally announced this afternoon. The athlete Calgary finished athlete category features uh, two gold medal winning females as well as a Stanley Cup champion. And the two builders to be inducted, well, they have a combined 90 years of experience, so they know what they're doing. And the, this year's team category is the first of its kind to be called to the hall. Matt Scooby has the complete rundown. Andrea Cole felt pretty good going into the 2000 Paralympic Games in Sydney, Australia. But even she didn't know that she'd be the first female athlete from the region to win a gold medal at the Games. And now she's being inducted into the Northwestern Ontario Sports Hall of Fame. You can't get any better than this. You know, and, and um, it's kind of, <laughs> it's a little bit sad at the same time because it sort of, it marks the end of, of my sporting career, but also the beginning of a, of a new stage in my life. And uh, it's really important to me to still be involved in swimming. Cole is one of three athletes being inducted in this year's class. Hockey player Katie Weatherston will also be called to the hall. Kingsbury in front, scores! Katie Weatherston! Weatherston is the first athlete from Thunder Bay to win a gold medal at the Olympics, which she did in 2006 in turn with the women's hockey team. Stanley Cup winner Tony Herkus will join Weatherston and Cole in the athlete category. Herkus won the Cup in 1999 with the Dallas Stars and is the only regional hockey player to win the Hobie Baker Award as the most outstanding U.S. college player. A pair of Bryans are also being inducted in the Builder category. Brian Mallon has been involved in both curling and golf for almost 40 years and officiated at the international level. It's, uh, it's a dream, something uh, you dream about and you never think it ever happen. It's... Uh Something happens to you for doing something you like to do. I really enjoyed working over the years, helping people out and officiating and keeping the sport alive and keep it going. And uh, it's just the top of everything. Uh, it's something I'll uh, cherish for the rest of my life. Brian McLean is entering his 50th year as a member of the Canadian Lakehead Men's 10-Pin Bowling Association. He's thrilled to be entering the hall after helping a lot of young local bowlers have success on the national stage. When I got that phone call, I couldn't believe it. Uh, you know, you work uh, to make it enjoyable for everybody. You don't think about your own uh, honors that come along the way. And uh, this is a real honor. And I don't consider myself a builder, more uh, promoting the sport that I love. In the team category, the 1991 Canadian Open Lightning Class Championship crew will be the first sailing team to enter the Hall of Fame. The induction ceremony is set for September 28th at the Valhalla Inn. Matt Scooby, TBT.